I was sitting in my bedroom one afternoon and contemplating life, man. Everything had lost its purpose. Everything was so stale. The things I had enjoyed in the past, well, they weren't fun anymore. Video games? No. Eating tasty food? No. Even going out and playing with my monkey friends. I had found myself at, well, not a good place where you want to be in life. But that's when there was a ring on my doorbell. And as I went to the front door and opened it up, there was a pamphlet talking about an old ancient training camp up in the mountains for, well, people like me that were trying to figure out what in the world they were doing with their life. And with no better option, man, this was our best bet. So I packed up my bags, all my favorite belongings, even my favorite stuffed animal to head out on this journey into the mountain where I'd train with Old Man Monkey Dojo to figure out what was the meaning behind all this and my existence on this earth, or well, this monkey world. Fighting balloons and monkeys alike, we were gonna make some good progress, or at least I hoped. And here we are on K-Shizzle's map, the Great Old Mountain. And I think we're gonna have to go hard as per usual, and Sushi Benjamin makes some good sense here. That should get it. Oh boy, what a peaceful day up in the mountains. You know, we got a lake, some trees, all good things really. And oh my goodness, this is even worse than I thought. Oh no. Okay, so apparently this map is literally a straight line. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. I thought the balloons would loop up around the mountain, but I guess not. Oh guys, we can't even fit a water monkey here. <laughs> okay, well. All right, the good news is we can get an engineer, right? And though this placement is also trolling us hard, we're gonna get a balloon trap, right? As quick as possible. With a straight line like this, ooh, the money maker is gonna be good. Oh my goodness, the balloons are relentless. And unfortunately, this vision block is awful. But we're just going to lose some mana shield lives, so I'm not worried. Oh yeah, and with the double gun master here, oh, that's money. I love all the cute butterflies flying around too. It's very nice. We'll get the larger service radius here because we're going to need it for balloon trap anyway, but it also helps him pop these balloons once they start going too far. Now, we got to figure out what we want to do, man. We can't even place boats here. Like, what is it? Wait, wait, I found a life hack. Wait, what in the world? Oh my goodness, wait, I can place a boat here. <laughs> Apparently we found a little spot. Good, good. So I guess we'll be able to line some boats up in here and I want to go merchant, man, right? We want to get the favorite trades, make money. I love money, mm -mm -mm. delicious. So with a good start like this, where we go balloon trap, boom, cash dollars. Get the buck in here, merchant, man. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Of course, we certainly do not want to forget about Benjamin, <laughs> our good dojo man. Uh, I don't know, let's put him in the corner, somewhere really out of the way, because I don't know how all this real estate here is gonna be. We might be able to put a ton of farms. And if so, I mean, ooh, might be a lot of money. If we can put a bunch of farms here in the middle and there's not like a bunch of blocks, I don't, let's see. Oh my goodness, wait. We can make the biggest monkeyopolis of all time. Oh my goodness, the plot thickens. This means with a crazy start like this, we can go things like Paragons later on, like the Goliath Doomship and a Navarg of the Sea. I mean, you know, a staple. I love this thing. Oh my goodness. Wait, the map that was the most feared map is now going to be like a, a farming phenomenon. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be awesome. I mean, you got to stick around and see what we pull out for this. There's so many possibilities. But for now, we got to get back to making money. And I'm talking balloon trap. Boom. Stick it up at the beginning. Shlabam. Oh my goodness, look at those balloons pump in, baby. And then now, we'll work on a little bit of the merchant man action. Oh my goodness, and the amazing thing too, is we're gonna be able to put like a spike factory way back here as well. But these leads are coming in, the camos are coming in, and this is where the merchant man with grape shot hot shot is gonna be very, very beneficial. And we're gonna have to just pick that up now <laughs> so we don't lose. All right, then we'll work on our second one here. Bam, oh my goodness. But it is getting really scary because if balloons get past our defenses, which isn't crazy, it's just over, dude. So we might want to get a silly spike factory at the end here, but I don't know. You, you know, it's like, how far can we greed, right? <laughs> That's kind of the question. Also, the round 40 mo jab is gonna be coming up soon. We're gonna have to grab this. Uh, I don't want it right at the end. I'd like to see it a little bit. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Okay, maybe we will stack it at the end. Okay, now <laughs> we have to figure out how we're gonna beat the Moab, dude. Um, I think a plane is gonna be a really great option here. And so what we might do is just make like the squad over here of like our towers so it doesn't get, you know, in our way of our farms. These things are in shame. Okay, we got never miss targeting, but we do need an alchemist. I mean, that's gonna be, yeah, no question about that. Alchemist, quickly, for the perishing potions. And I guess we'll see if we take this Moab down. 
I feel like we got a decent shot. Get rapid fire. Okay. Mr. Moab, please. Mr. Moab, I'm begging you. Oh, nice. Thank you, Benjamin, for the assist on that. Okay, sweet. And this gives us a little good foundation here as well for all our towers. So now it is time to make the giant monkeyopolis. I'm going to try to center this the best I can. It's going to be so bad. Oh my goodness. We want a second one, right? Boom. Because we're going to be able to double down on this action, right? And then probably got to figure out how we're going to place all these now. We got to try to get them in as snug as possible. I'm trying to lay out the foundation a little bit. I know this is not efficient. Okay. It's also just looking terrible. Okay. I've given up. I give up. I give up. I'm trying to make this pretty. We need a banana. Dancing banana monkey. A stat. Let's go ahead and grab uh, this guy so we can get the camo detect, right? That way our plane can actually hit these little silly camos trying to prank us. That'll be good. And then we get back to making money. Yeah, what I did here, not efficient at all. But I, <laughs> I want to get a little placement down so I don't troll myself. Welcome to Farming Simulator. Bro, we're cruising through these rounds as well. Like, it's 48. Oh my goodness. Where's the time gone? Yeah, we need to get this income up stat. And we're basically going to greed as long as we can. Oh my goodness, to do that. Oh, but we're going to need more damage. We're going to need things. Oh, I'm getting scared. Okay, yeah, I've absolutely butchered this for placement, by the way. I am not a mathematical geometry god, it seems. Oh, this is horrendous. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We got to do some stuff. Let's get deadly spikes. We're going to go bigger and white hot. Because eventually, this thing's just going to be stacking like crazy. And not even, like, we don't need the fast production. It's just, it's just a no-brainer, right? Just slightly more damage is going to be better. Oh my goodness, and the around 60 BFB is coming up. I don't have time for this. Oh my, oh my. Let's get stronger stim. Of course, we'll get the jungle drums. You know, a given really for the kid. Now, what to do, what to do. Well, we should probably get the rest of our merchantmen as well. <laughs> Diversify our portfolio. Oh my goodness, it's Larry. It's... Reindeer Larry. I don't know why he's a reindeer, but he's coming into play. And, alright. <laughs> we'll live another day. Luckily, we got an insane amount of spikes back here. And back to farming. Okay, and then I want to get one uh, farm over here, which is going to be our bank. We'll go auto collect. I'm not trying to be bothered. Oh my goodness, all these balloons. I'm going to get a another spike factor here, and we're going to go top half with the spike mines. That way, we can kind of thin some of these balloons. To save us <laughs> and then we have the security in the back that, that'll be really good now we get the bank and then I mean if you guys know me I love getting a little bit of everything <laughs> I love the pump and marketplace we can't live without it a little bit of everything and we'll be looking good I'd love to get the XXL trap make more money but bro, it's 51,000 I mean maybe we'll see if we can hold out for that that would be best case scenario dude someone's gonna pop these moabs tons of damage but also make us more money and not lose. It's actually so possible, by the way. We're at 23 right now. As long as we don't lose before him. Oh my goodness, we're closing in. Oh, I'd be so happy. I can't describe to you how happy I'd be if we can just cop a XXL trap. Oh my goodness, wait. Oh, we lived. Oh no. Okay, okay, collect the money. Okay, XXL trap. Get the upgrade. Oh, <laughs> yeah, shit. Let's go ahead and get radar and the cook jungle drums. And oh my goodness, bro. And I am now not too worried. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. We're absolutely going to be printing money. Big damage from that on the Moabs. Bro, it, it's a done deal. We just, we just make more money. Oh my goodness, I love money. We'll upgrade this to the Monkey City just for some extra money on these silly guys. It's so good because this XXL trap literally stalls for so long until it gets overwhelmed. And I mean, look at all these pineapples in the back. Like, that is phenomenal. And then we just take down anything else in our way. I mean, not a problem. The other thing is I'm going to get a pontoon and uh, place it up here in the hiding in the corner, right? And we're going to grab a sub. We'll, we'll come back to that later, though. If, if you know why, comment below. Because <laughs> this is going to get steamy. Oh my goodness, we absolutely chomped the ZMG. Excellent. Our monkey star, our little warrior, man. Of course, we like in favor, and let's head into free play, right? We got more things to do. We got to make a ton more money. We got to get these paragons. I'm talking the Navark of the Seas for the plane. Oh my goodness, the Goliath Doom ship. And I mean, maybe even more, dude. If we have the money, like, why not, right? And of course, well, it means we've got to beat the level 100 bat, as per usual. Oh my goodness, and the balloons are going crazy. We'll get the spiked mines here. That'll be really good. Just a little extra damage. Not something we have to spend a ton of money on either. Because once this farm and everything, like, gets rolling even more, bro, oh, 
these these small little upgrades 30k on a purpose bike yeah 25k on a specter no problem for a guy like us no definitely not We'll get the monkey Wall Street now. Just, we just want to pick up a tier five, you know? Boom. Oh my goodness. And it has begun, ladies and gentlemen. The money <laughs> printer has begun. Oh my. What the government doesn't want you to know in 2024 about making... Oh my goodness. About not losing the game. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll get the permit spike there. And then we'll grab the specter and then we'll secure the deal. Now, I'm honestly not sure how far out we're going to be able to get this Monkeyopolis with an Energize and everything. It's not going to be too much more than this, but we're definitely going to try to fit as much as we can to get an insane Monkeyopolis, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, DDTs. Ah, yes. Well, thankfully, this thing's stacking. We'll pick up the Monkeynomics now, and then we're going to get the tech bot. Boom, link it up. And remember that sub that I told you about a little while ago? Well, this we're going to be getting into the Energizer real quick. Yeah, reducing cooldowns everywhere. That means more money for the Monkeynomics. Yeah, I'll take one of those, please. Thank you. <laughs> now we're in around 95. Honestly, we don't have a lot for defenses. <laughs> I guess here comes the Armada, and hopefully our Spike Factory has enough back here. <laughs> oh yeah, and with the White Hot Spikes, bro, oh, plenty. We'll pick up the Perma Brew now, right? On everybody here? Yes. With the Monkey Brew? Oh yeah. And keep grabbing more money. Yummy, yummy, yummy. We need to grab an engineer. Uh, we'll do it just like right here. Yeah, sure. We'll go ultra boost. Grab our tech bot for this in a second. Oh, we're gonna start to lose challenge. Now it's a little awkward because I'm fast forwarding <laughs> and not paying attention, but we'll see. Okay, we ultra boost the monkeyopolis. The bad's coming in, the big whale, and we're gonna try to range everything here. Hello, Mr. Well, you are not taking much damage, I see. It's so hard to see what's going on. Oh, the spikes. Oh, there we go. We beat around 100. Nice. We'll let the stacks here go crazy. Oh my goodness. $100,000. It's free real estate. And we're not done yet. We're going to grab super mines here. That'll be the icing on the cake to really stop anything from getting by. So we can finish off our farm. We can probably fit like a little more up here and I'm not even going to look at the bottom. So hopefully we don't lose. <laughs> I'm a little preoccupied at the moment. Uh, we'll also grab the flying fortress and that'll be, yeah, money. I can fit one here. Oh my gosh. Nice. Maybe one here as well. Then we can probably fit like two on this side as well, but maybe not. Oh, bad news. Might only be one, but the answer will shock you. We have a $140,000 sacrifice for the Monkeyopolis. Oh my goodness. We're going to be able to go ahead and pick this up now. And I'm definitely not going to place all these down again. That would be atrocious. <laughs> but I will grab a few here like this. So we can just make, you know, a little extra money on top. Now, the real fun begins. Okay, we're going to get the trade empire here. And we're going to need to place another pool down for the Navark. And that's going to be our first Paragon. We're not going to worry about maxing these guys out, right? Nothing crazy. Obviously, we're not going to get level 100, right? We, we didn't set ourselves up in a place like that. Let's go ahead and pick up the Navark of the Seas here and just put all the money we have into it right now. <laughs> and it's the 34, man. That is not bad. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do, I'm talking planes. Yeah, I'm talking the Goliath Doom ship, baby. $972,000. You're like, wow, that's so much money. Oh my goodness, I'm scared. Well, not for a guy like me. No, no, no. Wealthy man. I feel like I always find myself in this situation. Always getting a lot of money and buying the Navark and the Goliath Doom ship. And not giving love to these other Paragons as much. And so let's do a funny one actually as well before we hit up the Goliath Doom ship. Let's grab the Engineer. Because, <laughs> bro, you never see this guy. Who, who's picking the Engineer Paragon? Nobody I know. So let's grab this up, put a little bit of money into it, and shlabam. Oh, yeah. Look at that guy, the Sentry Master. And then we'll just put all of his little things up at the front because I'm not trying to manage them. And look at this, we're only on round 30 too, right? We're not maxing these guys out. We're not going crazy, but we're still at a pretty early round for everything we're getting here. Now, I think a Boomerang Monkey is only, yeah, that's, that's the next step, right? We haven't got the Goliath Doom Ship. You're right. But like I said, we got to get some love. These are Paragons, man. Oh my goodness. Quick little Glaive Dominus. Yes, yes, there you go funny little little eight guy yeah i mean why not pick up the ninja as well and set him on the boat i mean that's pretty funny and we can start getting rid of some of this other stuff dude it's literally pointless <laughs> now that we're getting paragons right yeah i'll be taking that ascended shadow thank you very much boom Another one. okay he's level one all right let's kind of troll but that's fine all right and i think to round this all off 
Bro, we got some crazy paragons here, right? We got the Tech Lord Master, the Master Builder from Legos. Then we got the two silly, you know, guys sitting on top of the boat. I mean, the only thing now really, man, is, bro, we're just gonna sell this all. It's that everything's going out of stock sale. I don't need money. I don't need anything. All I need is my paragons. <laughs> Even get out of here, Benjamin. Now we'll be able to pick up the Goliath Doom ship to finish it all off. Boom. And I'm pumping all the money into that, baby. For 52. <laughs> And we certainly could have gotten all the Paragons as well, but, bro, this is sick. I love putting guys on the Navarch, too. It looks so funny, especially other Paragons, man. It's awesome. Well, I guess we've really learned a lot in this journey. You know, exploring the mountains, man, popping all these balloons, training, not only my body, but my mind. I think I found a new desire for life and my next steps in this world to regain my purpose. So I thank the Monkey Dojo Master for all that he had done and the other trainees in the area. And I left, heading out for the mountain. Where I'd go? I mean, who knows? We'll see where the wind takes me. But until next time, guys, I'm Nerves. Peace out.